welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of materials. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. So this question is about an experiment testing for the flexibility of four planks P, Q, R and S which are made of different materials. So what she did was she placed the planks one by one on two supports. She nailed the ends down and then she placed a heavy block on top of each plank. So what will happen to the plank when the heavy block was placed on it? Yes, the plank will bend. How much it bends depends on its flexibility. So she then measured the distances from the centre of the plank all the way to the ground. She then recorded her results in this table over here. So the question is asking, based on the above results, which plank is the most flexible? So most students immediately chose plank S as their answer because they say, okay, 7 cm, which means it is the greatest number. So the plank bent the most and therefore it is the most flexible. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Why? Because the results here are the distance from the center of the plank to the ground, which means the center of the plank all the way to the ground which means the plank that bend the least. For example, if I were to draw it, so let's say this is the plank that bent the least versus a plank that bent the most. Now, the plank that bent the least would have the greatest distance or the shortest distance from the centre of the plank to the ground. What do I mean? If you look carefully, the one that bent the least, which is the pink one, would have the greatest distance, which is 7 cm. While the one that bent the most, which is the purple one, would have the shortest distance, which is 1 cm. So, since plank P is the one with the shortest distance between the plank and the ground, it is the plank that bent the most and therefore it is the most flexible. So the one that is the most flexible is actually plank P, not plank S. Therefore, the answer is number one. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!